Okay, so welcome. So you've made it to day three of Raise Your Energy. So this is a pranayama and meditation practice that we've been walking through. And again, pranayama, which is a breathing exercise, there's so many benefits to it, but it helps us to lower stress, raise our energy, and also cultivate focus. And really, it helps us prepare our mind for meditation. So I think I talked a little bit about traditionally the way yogis approached these practices. It would be through asana, which is our physical yoga practice, then pranayama, and then meditation. So getting our body all ready to be able to sit. So each of those practices alone has benefits, but sometimes even have more benefits when we combine them. So that's why this week we've been focused on a breathing exercise followed by a meditation. So on Monday, we practice Samavriti, and that's equal breathing. So we are practicing evening out our inhales and exhales, and we used a four count. And again, you can use whatever count you want, and that's a great practice just to help to start reduce anxiety. So remember, we can trigger our parasympathetic nervous system, so when we start to feel anxious and our breath becomes shallow, we can counteract that by noticing our breath and starting to extend it, starting to take deeper breaths. And we can do that anywhere, whether we're in traffic, whether we're in a grocery line, whether you know we're taking a time out from an argument that we're having, and we can start to instill a little bit more calm into our life. And we followed that with an awareness of breath meditation, which also cultivates a sense of calm and ease. And then yesterday, we worked on Nadi Shodhana, our alternate nostril breathing. And that's one that I often introduce at the beginning of yoga classes. And really, that helps to ground us, balances our energy channels, and it just opens us up a little bit more to a state of flow. So we did that, followed by a loving kindness meditation, which helps us to cultivate kindness and compassion for both ourselves, others, and really the entire planet. And I will be posting all of these on YouTube, so if there's anything that you want to go back to, I will have that here for you. I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. So today we're going to focus on Ujjayi breath, and then we'll follow that with an open awareness meditation. So Ujjayi is also called victory breath, and it's a more audible breath, and it's also one that you can use in your yoga practice. So it simultaneously has a way of increasing our oxygen levels, but also calming our nervous system. It both relaxes and energizes us. So this is really a great breath. And like I said, you can do this anywhere on its own, but you can also do it within your yoga practice. So if you take yoga with me, we do challenging flows often. This is a great breath to help you sustain poses to continue to create that energy because you're taking so much more oxygen in. And what this breath does is it's also creating equal breathing, but it's really a deep inhale and deep exhale. So we're going to start, and we have a little few practice things, because this can be kind of a difficult breath to explain. So you kind of have to keep practicing, and you start to intuitively understand where we're going with it. But to get started, you can get into a comfortable seat, either on your cushion or in a chair. And we'll take a moment or two just focusing on our breath. So we're not going to do anything with it at all. We're just going to notice it. You can start to observe the inhales and the exhales. And I'm taking a few breaths just to come right back into the body. you can open your eyes. So as I mentioned, Ujjayi breath is it's almost an audible breath. And really here, the focus should be on the back of the throat. So to start, you can bring a hand in front of your face. And you can pretend your hand is a mirror. So you can take a deep inhale now, keeping that focus on the back of your throat. And then an audible exhale out. <sighs> like you're trying to fog up the mirror. And we'll do that again. Inhale. And then audible exhale out. 
And then as you're exhaling, again, concentrate on the back of the throat. You might even hear a hissing sound, or this breath is also called the Darth Vader breath. So we're just going to do that a couple of times. You're creating that ha ah sound from the back of your throat. Inhaling through the nose. <sighs> Exhaling through the mouth, just like you were trying to fog up the mirror. And now we're gonna close our mouth, but we're still gonna to try to have that same breath focusing on the back of the throat. And imagine now the exhale through the nose is going to try to fog up the mirror. And you still might have that sound, like so still think of that Darth Vader. So you're trying to almost, there's a constriction at the throat. So not a huge constriction, but some. So you can take an inhale now, but this time we're gonna keep the mouth closed and try to fog up the mirror. <sighs> So you'll see that the breath is somewhat audible. It doesn't have to be super loud. You can release your hand now. Maybe you can close your eyes or leave them open. We're just gonna practice that breath just for a couple of minutes. So that's our ujjayi breath. And that's the breath that you can use throughout your yoga practice. So deep inhale. And keeping the lips closed, focusing at the back of the throat, exhaling like you were trying to fog up that mirror. And in this one, like Samavriti, we are also going to try to keep equal length of inhales and exhales. And even as you inhale, see if you can feel the breath going right to the back of the throat, almost like it's going to come into the back of the throat, do a little somersault right there, and then come back out. And it also sounds like the ocean, why it's called the ocean breath. You can think of the waves kind of rolling in and rolling out. And continue lengthening and deepening the inhales and exhales. And really put in the focus right at the back of the throat. And paying attention to that audible hissing sound or that Darth Vader type sound. I'm going to spend another minute or so here.
And just take a couple more breaths. Then you can release your ujjayi breath and keep your eyes closed here if you'd like. And then just start to breathe normal. So we're going to transition right into our open awareness meditation. So in this meditation, we're not focusing on the breath, although if at any point you start to feel scattered or lost in train of thought, and bring the focus back to the breath. But really we're gonna focus on letting anything enter our consciousness. So that could be bodily sensations, so as you're sitting, seeing how that feels. It could be sounds that you hear, smells. And you'll notice those enter your consciousness the same way that thoughts do. I'm gonna let everything enter. You'll try not to engage. So just being completely open. And so as we get started, you can just start feeling the hands in your lap. And then just letting anything that arises, sounds, smells, or thoughts enter your consciousness. We'll observe, but we're not going to engage. And just becoming completely aware, open, and receptive. If you start to notice that you're lost in a train of thought, and that's okay, that's what minds do, you can use the breath as an anchor, coming back to the breath. And once you've had your mind settle, you try to open up again.
And again, in this meditation, you can think of your mind as like a clear blue sky. And the clouds that are passing, they're not only thoughts, but they're also sounds, smells, and bodily sensations. All of these things are just items that are passing through your consciousness. And you're trying to get glimpses of the blue. And sometimes they may only be brief, but notice them. See if you can sit with the blue a little bit longer. And remember, you find yourself engaged in anything that's coming through. And just return the focus to the breath. And open up again once you feel that calm abiding. In the last minute or two, let's just start all over. So no matter where you were with your meditation and how you were perceiving it, you can just start all over. And again, you can start with the breath or maybe you come right into open awareness, becoming fully aware and awake to all that's going around you, but without becoming fixated on anything. We'll start to come out the same way we came in. 
Just bringing the attention back to the breath. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Maybe just take a look around your surroundings, reorienting yourself. So that was our Ujjayi breath. So if you have a yoga practice, which I know that some of you guys do, I would really encourage you to try to use that as you practice and see if you notice that you have a little bit more focus, a little bit more power that you can add to your practice through that breath. Again, that breath doesn't need to be used in yoga. You could also do that just when you want to start to increase your energy levels and also simultaneously relax yourself. So since you're boosting oxygen, you're calming your nervous system. So it's also kind of a great practice just to do in the morning to start to wake yourself up. And then we did the open awareness breath um, meditation. And that can be a little bit more challenging than the awareness of breath because you're exposing yourself to so much more stimuli. But it can also be really quite powerful when you start to get that glimpses of just kind of clarity in between all of the different sounds and thoughts. If you have any questions, please let me know. Again, I'll post these videos on YouTube and we will be back tomorrow morning at eight for another pranayama and another meditation.